sitting here and doing interviews and signing autographs, like, it kind of makes me think of it like, wow, I am an Olympian. You bet. Stanford's speed demon swimmers, Simone Manuel and Leah Neal, headed to Rio. And they are head to head. Manuel just a little bit of a lead on Smoliga. It's groundbreaking. This is the first time two African American women are on the U.S. Olympic swim team at the same time. Sometimes we have to like step back and kind of like realize like the impact that we have because we don't realize it like firsthand. It's just like when we like start getting asked like all these questions about like what does it feel like to be a role model? Like what does it feel like to be to make history? Like being the first like couple of black girls like uh, to make the Olympic team or like do that NCAA history. Record 46-29. 43, 44, oh! That was the 2015 NCAA Women's Championships. Manuel, Natalie Hines of Florida, and Neil finished one, two, three in the 100-yard freestyle. First time in NCAA history, three African-American women swept the national title event. Simone set a new American record of 46.09. More swimmers of color are involved in swimming each year. According to USA Swimming Foundation, between 2004 and 2015, club swimming's black membership increased by 55%. Hispanic Latino, 77. People gravitate towards what they see, and you know, you're gonna gravitate towards a sport when there are people that look like you, and our successes um, really do impact a lot of people because our, our color does come with the territory of it. And I think uh, it's fun and I think we like inspiring people. Neil is going to her second Olympics. She began taking lessons at age six, swam competitively at age eight. Manuel was four when she first took lessons, swam competitively by nine. Each are staying loose before they head for training camp at the team facility in San Antonio.